Here's a test um, which is looking again at clay content. So I have my plastic soil. Again, it's the stony one, so I'm going to take out any large stones at this point, just because they will um, affect the way the test is, is done. So anything really big, take it out. The rest I'm going to make into a, a long, what the French call a cigar. Uh, I might call a sausage, but it's basically a very long cylinder. And I'm going to take a bit of time over this. So here we have a pretty long cylinder shape, roughly between three and four centimetres wide. And actually, I kind of want to go as long as possible here. So if I had more space, um, I would make something as long as I possibly can, up to about a metre long. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got my long cylinder of, of um, subsoil, that I've, a sticky cylinder, and I'm going to pass it over the edge of this table. Just check the damage is between three and four. Yeah, that's almost four centimetres. And then I'm going to just slowly pass it over the edge of something where it can drop to the... There we go. So it breaks there. So I'm going to collect that one here and then I keep going. Each time just going really slowly and then watching where it breaks. Yep, there we go again. There's another break happened. So yeah, we'll just keep going slowly, pushing it along and seeing where it breaks. Trick is not to go too fast, just to give it a chance to find its weak point. There's one. There we go. We may get one more from this. We'll see. Yeah. So cylinders that break beyond 20 centimetres are, are often very clay rich and may well be suitable for a corrected or gauged cob mix, but also may be suitable for the light earth element of the cobbage wall. But the, they may also contain a lot of silt. So that's where you may want to back up your field test with some laboratory tests, which we'll look at later. If the cylinders are breaking at less than 10 centimetres, it's probably not got enough clay in it for any of the elements in a cobbage wall. Um, but it may well be suitable for other types of earth construction. And it may well be suitable as um, uh, a soil you can blend with a richer clay rather than using washed processed sand.